done enough damage here <clears throat> The Bible says if you confess your sins You have to confess it Lord I have unbelief I have doubt I have fears unbelief doubt and fears the Trinity of failure the devil uses it constantly if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness you can have your unbelief and your doubt and your fears removed If you'll confess it tonight The Spirit of God will remove them you Need to be healed tonight Let's confess it first Unbelief doubt Fear The Holy Ghost hears you confess it the blood gets applied just like that. It comes so fast. You can't even believe it He's on you on you Father God there's some faith healers here tonight There's some deliverance ministers here tonight There's some people here tonight that you've already sent them the answer to their prayer They blocked it when it got here There are people here tonight whose children are sick and dying and heading for damnation and they've been worried about them and scared for them which blocks the answer to their prayer for their kids if you have faith and you doubt not you shall not only do that which is done unto the fig tree but also if you say to this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea it shall be done and all things Whatever you ask in prayer believing you shall receive Somebody has got to repent tonight and confess it Because you're called by God to get your prayers answered God wants to answer your prayers. He likes it He's proud of you when you pray and believe that's my Son there. That's my daughter there. Look at her stepping out on her faith. I am proud of her I'm proud of him. I want to give them more anointing and more blessing to make me more proud That's how he thinks You taking offenses you're going to repent of it right here Are you afraid for your children's future you're going to repent of it right now right down here You doubting your healing your deliverance that you're going to repent of it right down here You got somebody you need to apologize to you're going to contact them tonight Tomorrow at the latest and patch that thing up You know why? Not because they want their prayers answered, but because you do. You want your prayer answered. You've been nitpicking yourself? Are you nitpicking? This is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He, he hears us. And we know that if He hears us, we have the petitions that we desire of Him. This is not a Mike Smith deal. This is a Word of God deal. These are scriptures up here, not my personal opinions. We don't need what my my personal opinions are irrelevant. You got to confess it. You nitpicking people? Are you a religious person? Oh, I've been I've been in church for years. I, repent of it. Are you churched out? Repent of that. Just confess it. Dude, have you been is your wife driving you nuts? You've been letting her have it just repent of it 
You're the head of the household. You called by God. That's the structure. Husband, wife, kids, father, mother, kids. That's the structure. God set it up. I didn't. That's He said that. Just confess it and repent of it, would you? Because you're supposed to have your prayers answered. You're supposed to be healed. You're supposed to be delivered. That's supposed to be the norm. That's normal. But you worrying, you doubting, your unbelief, that is not normal. That is demonic. That's the devil. He's trying to steal your anointing, your future, your destiny, and he wants your kids. And he's already got some of them, but the Holy Ghost can take them back. Father God, I ask you right now, sweet Holy Spirit, I love you. We love you, Lord. Move now in the name of Jesus. If you need prayer, and come up here. If you need your leg lengthened, come right up here. We'll lengthen that, that'll get healed instantly. Come up here. If you need a new foot, do not come up here. Go see Kelly. Come up here for prayer right now. If you've got to repent of something, you cannot afford, you cannot afford to go even one more day without your prayers answered. If something's blocking your prayers, and I just went over it, you saw it. You saw what the blockers are. You know now. You understand now. And you're going to repent of it because your prayers are supposed to be answered. Period. Period. And you're going to repent of it right now in the name of Jesus. You're going to repent of it right now. Thus saith the Lord. Father God, I ask you to forgive me. I confess in the name of Jesus what I have said I shouldn't have said. What I did I shouldn't have did. Uh, what I smoked I shouldn't have smoked. What I drank I shouldn't have drank. I am repenting of it right now in the name of Jesus. I have been criticizing myself since I was Five years old. That is a sin. It is a sin for me to nitpick myself. That is wrong. And I'm going to repent of it right now in the name of Jesus. I repent. And at this very moment, I'm going to treat my wife differently from this moment forward. From this moment forward. Whoever I need to apologize to, I will contact them tonight or tomorrow and I'm going to fix this thing so that my prayers get answered. If God answers my prayers. I'm going to repent of it right now. Come on now. Start it up. Dear Jesus, I'm so sorry. This is up to you. It's between you and God. Not between you and me. Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me. Lord Jesus, touch me. Lord Jesus, help me. Dear God, dear God, save me. You spirit of self-hatred, I bind your power now. I command you to come out. You spirit of self-hatred, I command you to come out. You spirit of doubt and vacillation and unbelief, I command you to go. Right now, in Jesus' name. Can you get some more buckets? I command you to come out now. Right now, hurry up. Come out right now, in Jesus' holy name. Come out of there. Come out right now. Hey, hold that. Hold this. Come out, Satan. Get out of that body right now. Hurry up. Come out. Evil, come out. Satan, come out of this boy. Let that boy go. Every demon from his dad, come out of that body right now. Come out right now. Take a breath and blow. Come out right now in Jesus' holy name. Let's hold that. Come out right now. Go. Satan, loose your hold. Satan, loose your hold. Satan, loose your hold. Father God, I ask for deep conviction to come on every person in this service who is not repenting, who has not confessed. Right now. Come on now. 
I apologize to you Lord dear Jesus forgive me for what I done I apologize for what I did I am so sorry come on pray harder I am so sorry Lord Jesus save me Lord Jesus save me I am so sorry spirit spirit I curse you and command you to come out thus saith the Lord come out the demon of schizophrenia bipolar I bind your powers come out come out now come out get out of my body come out now take another yawn there it is come out right now that's him right there come on out come out of her there he is you demon of fear come out there he is keep coughing come out go at a girl come out of this there it is keep coughing he's coming out right now there it comes right there come on out. he's coming out right now Satan lose your hold Satan I curse you to fail I command you to fail come out come on that body right now get out of that body right now go come on that body right now go God I repent of taking offenses hold that hold that come out Satan I got hey, what's wrong with you sweetheart what's wrong with you I don't know what's wrong with you What's your symptoms? I had a lot of I have a lot of what you spoke of, uh, just leave doubt in myself. Yeah. Okay. Come up here. And what's your name? Allison. Allison. Yeah. Close your eyes. That's her mom. All right. Lord, do you see Allison? She's standing right in front of me right now. And the demons took her when she was little. She got hurt when she was little. And that pain in her soul is still in there. And she used drugs and everything else to cover up that pain. But tonight, she's going to release it. So you can heal her. She's going to release it and turn her heart over to the Lord. She's going to repent of her sin and stop living for Satan. She's going to do it right now. Dear Jesus, please forgive me. Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive me. Please save me, dear Lord. Forgive me for hurting my mother. Forgive me for hurting myself. Forgive me for hating myself. I ask for your mercy tonight. I want this ugly spirit of rejection right out of there. I want him out tonight. The self-hatred, the self-rejection, the hatred of men, drugs, alcohol, the demons of mental illness. I break your power tonight. She has a call from God, and she's going to repent of her sin right now. Right now. Go ahead. Dear Jesus, forgive me. Tell him you're sorry. Come on, tell him you're sorry. Does she need to be healed of anything? Uh, on her body. Uh, What's wrong with her body? Yeah. You got carpal tunnel? How'd you get it? Oh, from repetitive use syndrome? Oh, okay. You see working now? Yes. What are you doing now? I'm a caregiver. Your caregiver? Oh, that's using your hands all the time. All right. Ready? Watch this. All right, dear Lord, here's your loved one. She's right there. Sweet Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to heal. At the count of three, one, two, Heck up. Move like that. Move like that. All right. Take a big breath. Come out. Come out, you rotten devil. Come out of her stomach. Breathe. Keep breathing. Come out, devil. Come out of there, you pervert. Come out. Come out, you rotten spirit. Rejection. Lust. Adultery. 
oral sex, wickedness, and evil come out. Come out of her stomach right now. Let her hands go. Let go. Let go. Heal. Heal. Check it out. Uh, is your hands worse, better, or the same? Different how? You're not tingling? Right. Does this hurt? Does that hurt? They're numb and they tingle a lot. They tingle a lot? Are they tingling now? They did where we started. Now? They're not tingling? Okay, then uh, did you have weaker grip strength before? Yes. Okay. Any change? Any change? All right. Now, let's get the rest of it. Dear Jesus, please forgive me for my sin. I want my whole body healed, and I want this addiction to leave me at the count of three. One. You di addiction from demons, drugs, I curse you to fail. I command you to loose this woman of God. Take your filthy hands off her. You got three seconds left. One, two. <coughs> Feel that? No, the, yeah, th don't thank me. Thank you, Jesus. Say that. Thank you, Jim. Hey, can you help her thank, say thanks? Here, your mom's going to help you. Thank you, Jesus. Say that. Hey, what's wrong with you? Good. He's got the doubt demon. Doubt. Now, now, what's your calling anyway? Yeah, what are you supposed to be doing? Do I get to choose one? Hmm? Do I get to choose one? How does this work? No, what's your... What? You mean calling? You're calling from God. Did you ever have any sense of anything in there? What did you tell me in the parking lot when I met you over at the Cowboy Church? What did you want to do? Not be in the military anymore. What did you want to do? Go fight. Be aggressively. We're here for some reason. We want to do something. So I think of it like a military experience. If we're here on this earth, then we're going to sit around and listen to like an empty gospel. We should have some strength to it. We should do something. We should be able to present evidence to people that, hey, look, this is the truth. So. Now, have you ever had any experience with the Holy Spirit? Have you ever had any spiritual experiences? Not quite, very. very you ever had an IQ test? I think what I high? Pretty high? Yeah. Higher than yeah. regular, not too high though. Yeah, yeah. He's He's above high. average. Yeah, now listen, uh, this guy's a collator. He thinks a lot. And he can, he can multitask in his mind. He's smart. Right. And smart. That's a hindrance too. That's a hindrance because I'm always. Yeah, and that's that's bad for childlike faith issues. Okay. And he's just a little boy. He's only 30 years old, and he and says he's never fornicated. He came from a broken family. Now, what you got to do is turn your heart over to the Lord. Okay. Which makes me wonder. Huh? No, I, I don't think you are. So that's what we're gonna have to do now. Okay. Now, you you you're supposed to be teaching the gospel. And this guy would make a brilliant teacher, but he's got to get saved first. Okay. So in order to get saved, what you got to do is just relax and take a big breath, big breath, breathe, big breath, breathe. Big breath, Holy Spirit come in. Holy Spirit come in. Fear demon come out. That's him right there. Fear demon come out. Just breathe out of your mouth. Like that. Breathe out of your mouth. Atta boy. Devil come out of there. Right there. He's in his tummy. 
demon of fear. Come on up. Fears from childhood. Fear of women. Fear of embarrassment. Fear of being criticized. Come on out. Come on out. Lord Jesus, I turn my life over to you. Tonight's my night. This is my chance. I invite the Holy Spirit in. And this fear demon out. Come up and out. You spirit of fear. He's right there. Lord Jesus, I'm yours. Say that. Lord Jesus, I'm yours. Forgive me of my sin. Say it. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord Jesus. God, help me. I need the Holy Ghost tonight. I need to go to the river like Jesus did. I need to go to the river. Help me, Lord. Heal. Heal my mind. Cast this thing out. The demon of doubt. The demon of unbelief. Come on out. Come out in the name of the Lord. Come out of me right now. By faith. I command you to come out. I command you to come out. Fear from childhood. Go. Fear from childhood. Come out. Get out of there. Come on out. Holy Spirit, come in. Come out right now. Come out. Come out. Come out of that body right now. Come out of that body right now. Come out. I love you, dear Lord. Help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Pray harder. The Lord help me. Simple prayers are best. Simple prayers are best. God help me. Dear Jesus, help me. God help me. Please help me, Lord. Please help me, Lord. God save me. God save me. Come on now, just pray like a kid. Just pray like a kid. Lord Jesus, help me. Lord Jesus, help me. God save me. God save me. Help me, Lord. That's how you pray. You pray like a little kid. Oh, God save me. Save me, dear Lord. Help me. I don't want to die like this. I don't want to waste my life. I don't want to waste my life. Die for nothing. Having nothing. Being nothing. God, no. God, no. Lord Jesus, no. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Say that. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help this guy pray, will you? Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Say that. Lord Jesus, help me. Say that out loud. And just pray like me. Lord Jesus, help me. Just pray like me. Pray like Brother Mike. Oh, God. Oh, God, save me. God, save me. Help me. Come on, just pray like me. Help! Help, Lord. You're Peter in the boat. Lord, save me. You're Peter in the boat. Lord, save me. Help. Help me. If I touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Lord, help me. God, save me. Speak the word only, Lord. My son and my daughter will be healed. Speak the word only, Lord. Help me. Oh, God. My daughter. The demons came for her. The demons took my son. Oh, God. 
I break the power of sin and Satan over my son and my daughter. I break it. I break it now. In Jesus' mighty name. I break the power of evil over my son and my daughter. I command you, Satan. I have no doubts and no unbelief. Let my children go. Heal. Every ugly man that ever lied to me, used me, took my money, wasted my time, fabricated stories, I forgive all of them. Every one of them. They used me for my money. They used me for sex. They used me for time. I forgive them. I want every transfer spirit out of my body from every ugly man that ever even touched me. You come out of this woman of God right now. Come out of that tummy. Come out of that throat. Come out. Gather. Come out right now. Every ugly man, go. All of them. Every ounce of poison from medication, come out. Every poison from medication, come out of my spine. Come out of my spine. Come out of my body right now. Come out of my body. Get out of my mind right now. Come out of there, Satan. Get out of my spine. Go. Come out. Get out of my body. I renounce you. I renounce you, Satan. I renounce you in Jesus' name. I command you to leave my body and my soul. Come out right now. Come out right now. Quickly. I said come quickly. Come quickly. Get out of my body. Go. Right now. Get out of my body. Go. Come quickly. Every ugly man goes now. Every one of them. All of them. Every man that lied to me. Every man that used me. Every second I spent committing adultery. All forms of adultery. All forms of lesbianism. All forms of pornography. Out of there. Come out of that body right now, you monster. Come out of that body right now. I told you to go. I told you to come out of my stomach. Come out of my groin. Come out of my womb. Get out of there. Come out, you child molester. You child molester. Come out of there. Get out. Come out. Come out. Keep coughing. Come out right now. Come out, you child molester. Now go. There he is. There he comes. There he comes. Come out, you child molester. You pervert. I command every demon from anal sex to come out now. Anal sex. Did you hear me? Did you hear me, you rotten devil? <laughs> come out. Anal sex. Come out of me. I said come out now. Pornography. Come out of there, you pervert. Anal sex. Oral sex. Oral sex. Go. You get out now. Now. Come out. Get out of there. Come out. Come out quickly. Get out of that body. Satan, go. Keep yawning. Keep yawning. Keep yawning. Satan, lose your hole right now. Not in 10 minutes. I said now. Come out of my throat. Right now, I said. You witch. Every demon of witchcraft. Witchcraft. Come on. Keep yawning. Keep yawning. Those are the weaker demons coming out. If you're yawning, those are spirits coming out. Keep doing it. The more powerful ones will come out in a minute. 
Yawn the other ones out. Come on, now. now just try to pray hard like this. Dear God, save me. Try it. Lord Jesus, save me. Help me. Help me. By faith. By faith, I need a miracle. I've already wasted 30 years of my life. I'm not wasting another 30. No. You hear me, devil? I said no. No more. No more. Save me, Lord. Help me. Save me, Lord. Help me. Just do it by faith. Do it by... What you need? What's wrong with you, sweetheart? No, you say it right now. No, you say it right now. No, you say it right now. Yes. Yes, you have. You don't confess it. You can't get rid of it. Well, it's not a confession. It's something yeah. that's been in me. Yeah, I know. What is it? <laughs> that's a fear demon. It's something that's been inside of me. Okay, he's winning. Years, and I haven't been able to get rid of it. Yeah. You want to die with it? Huh? You want to die with it? Okay. No. What is it? It doesn't matter. Say it. It's something I've been trying to get rid of. Yeah, what is it? Came into me inside of me I know. You, you want him out? Yeah. Well, okay. It wasn't a demon. It was um, something that... Mm -hmm. Who put it in there? Probably How did it get in there? It's probably my fault. How do you do it? Huh? How did you do it? Well, one of my kids got a parasite. Yeah? Yeah. You got a parasite? Yeah. From... From what? Eating something? Yeah, and where's the parasite at? Hmm? In your stomach. Oh, it's here in your tummy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are easy to get rid of. <clears throat> now, you were 31, and now you're how old? I'm 62. So that was uh, 30. Okay. So. Family. And yeah, now, uh, when you were a little, did somebody hurt you bad when you were yeah, little? Who did that? Just lots of people. Who, who's the main one? When, when you were little. Child, yeah, little. Cousin, what did he do to you? He was kissing me. <clears throat> you were how old? I wasn't ever sexually abused by my father's office. You were how old when your cousin was Five. kissing you? Five. Okay, and how'd that make you feel? Good. Okay. Because I was five early. He was probably like ten. Okay. That didn't hurt you? You were happy about it? Yes. You're not I sure? I was being loved. Because my father oh. never well, loved me. What was his name? My cousin, Barry. Barry. And whatever happened to Barry? He's still alive. Yeah, I mean, what the heck, did he get married? Yes, he got married. Divorced? His kids. No, I don't think so. I don't know if he was divorced. But he does have kids, and they run Shekinah Glory Ranch, helping abuse kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. so that's just one, but I've been abused by lots of guys. Uh, physically abused? Raped? No, I've never been raped. God. No, okay. Well, Abused how? Just verbally and physically, yes. Yeah. I've been married two times and another guy for a month. Were they a verbally abusive? Uh, both of them are. And the six foot two husband. Was. And uh, you were how old when the abuse started from different people? How old were you? My mom was pretty abusive. You know, she was mean and hateful. Did she yell at you a lot? Yes. Now, what was her name? Linda. Linda? Yeah. And okay. That was a pattern that went on into guys and disrespect yeah. and hate. And and did the, the, the doctor uh, have you had that seen by a doctor? Yeah. And have they actually seen the parasite? No. Have they seen it on X-ray or any kind of diagnostic? No, they just do. Like Who told you you had a parasite? Well, if you can feel them and you can see them. All right. Now listen, uh, I got a news flash for you. There's no parasite in there. It's a demon. It's a spirit of rejection. 
They're doing it. Yeah, it was terrible. The demons are doing it. I don't think I'm about myself. When you were little, a spirit of rejection entered your body. He drew in those three men. Because he knew they would hurt you beforehand. And it came from your mother. Yeah, she was Indian and her mom used to beat her so bad. She thought she was going to kill her. So that kind of came down into me. And so it's the same spirits. She, went to, <laughs> she has them. She has them. Yeah. yeah, she didn't want to come up here because she didn't yeah. think anything would happen. And then when did you get saved? When I was, well, I went to church a lot, but born again saved when I was 20. And then what happened to you? Well, I just started serving the Lord, but I came out of a rock and roll thing, you know. Did you uh, speak in tongues? Yeah, I still do. Okay, let me hear it. Okay, stop. Now, that's the legitimate tongues, but it's blocked. And we can fix that. What's your mom's name again? Linda. Linda. Oh, Linda. Okay, now, uh, you related her? This is you know her? Minister and a really good friend. Huh? We hang uh, out you're you're a minister? I am. Okay, now, what happened was, she's living in a 31-year uh, delusion. Okay, she thinks she has a parasite. It's not a parasite. It's a, it's a fear spirit moving around in there because she got a rejection demon from her mother. Her mother was uh, very abused when she was young. And that same spirit jumped from the mother into her. And then he ruined her life. He ruined all of her relationships. He kept bringing her bad men. And they do that because they know in advance that they're going to abuse her. So they pull them in. They pick them out and pull them in. Marry that one. Marry that one. Live with that one. This is another one. And they all end up doing the same thing. Beating her up like her mother was beaten when she was young. It just passes right, the same demons go right down the line. Kids, grandkids, everything. So in order to get her healed, she has to bag this parasite stuff. That's a delusion. He's hiding behind that. He actually moves around in there. It's him doing it, not a parasite. She doesn't have a parasite. So, I'll be honest with you, your deliverance for me only started a couple of years ago, a few years back. And I ran into uh, uh, Scott Bacon, his material, started going over him, and started going over his materials and, and studying his materials. So, uh, deliverance for me is new. But, so, I'm going to come to your house. Okay, now, uh, first of all, uh, to get people like this fixed you have to go back to the beginning and then move forward because uh, spirits are like building blocks over the years see but it started with mother and it wasn't her mother's fault her mother was abused as a kid she wasn't at fault so these rejection demons took her and then transferred into her because she would yell at her and verbally rake her apart and nitpick her and scream at her and this and that. And that damaged her soul. Okay? So Linda has to come out of there, okay? And then with the rejection demon, she's loaded with fear demons. So she has all kinds of insecurities. She was scared to death to tell me she had a parasite. When she told me that, I already knew what it was. It was fake. I've already had people like that come in here. It didn't, I didn't even phase me. But she was panicking over it. That's a fear spirit. That's not her. She's an intelligent person. Very bright. Her IQ is solid. Okay? But this fear spirit makes her an emotional wreck. Like he did her mother. All right? All right. Here we go. Ready? Lord Jesus, I am so sorry for the pain that has been in this family. It has been horrible. 
I wish her mother were here tonight because I know that woman was heartbroken. And she had nobody to help her. There was nobody there. And she was left to the devil. And he beat her unmercifully. And then he wanted another victim. And he got her. And he turned her into a life of misery, just like her mother. Wasted men, wasted relationships, wasted money, untold amount of money gone for nothing. The demons come to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's what they did to this poor family. I wish Linda was here right now, Lord, because I tell her the truth. She is a very loved person. You loved her. And you were hurt watching her be abused. And you feel the same way about her daughter. And I ask you to forgive her right now, Lord. For any bad feelings or thoughts when she was young about her mother and the way she treated her. I'm asking her to forgive her for believing this parasite nonsense that was actually demonic. I'm asking you to forgive her for living in insecurities and fears. I'm asking you to forgive her for tolerating this spirit hiding in there, moving around, and giving her anxiety and low self-esteem. I'm asking you to forgive her for using food as a comfort when she should have used the Holy Ghost. That was her comforter, not food. And she's going to repent of it right now in the name of Jesus. For any negative thoughts or emotions she had about her mother when she was young. Linda, in the name of Jesus, we forgive you. Is she still alive? No, she's dead. Too late. But she is still alive. She's living in here. Tonight, Lord, Linda's transfer spirits of rejection and fear must come out of her stomach. And this fake parasite must come up. In the name of Jesus. All right, take a breath and blow. Come on now. Come on out. Keep blowing. Come out of there. Come out. Come on. Stop telling her to shut down because she's embarrassed. Stop doing that. I know what you're doing. You're trying to embarrass her. No. We're going to embarrass you. You're coming out of there. Fake parasite. Up and out. Come on out. Come out right now. Come out. Come out. You phony parasite. You submit to the Lord Jesus now. Linda, come out. Linda, come out. Come on out. Keep blowing. Linda, come out of there right now. Hurry up. Come out. Come out of her stomach. A demon parasite. Come out of there right now. What are you thinking right now? Hmm? Oh, tell him to go. Tell him. Is he moving right now? Yeah, he's moving. He's scared. They move when they're scared. Because you're turning on him. Okay. Did you, did you repent of parasiting? It's not a parasite. It was, that was delusion. Did I tell you what it is? One time, when I can't it's gone. It's what gone. is it? What did she tell you it was? Uh, I never did tell her because I didn't want to know. No, you didn't tell me. Why? Because I told a few people in the past. And they were just, I don't know. I, I lost a lot of friends. Over a parasite? I did tell a couple of them, but I don't know if that was. Okay, well, go ahead and repent of it. Yeah, being afraid. <clears throat> Have you ever heard this verse? God has not given us a spirit of fear. 
Yeah, now that verse was mistranslated. The Greek word for fear there is delia, it's cowardice. And that's what you have, a coward demon. And that's why you act the way that she had one. I just told you, it's a coward spirit. And that's what's keeping you from fighting right now. You're kind of holding back. Now, listen, dying with this is a lot weirder than praying and getting them out tonight. That's a lot weirder. Because you've got a couple decades left of misery. Uh, it's never going to change unless you do what I tell you. It's never going to change. You're going to die with it. If you don't repent, you're going to die with it. And I'm obligated to tell you that because I, that's my job. Huh? So what happened here is a rejection demon got in, then they let the fear spirits in, then that coward spirit got in. And then the rejection demon said, marry this guy. And then he, he tried to dominate her. Then to marry this one here. Then they step all over her. And they go with that guy. And then they use her as a doormat. Then they trash the kids. It's the same coward spirit. They draw in dominators, abusers. And then you, you can sit and see it. The pattern is right there. Click, 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 click. You sit and talk to him. You see the pattern. Cowardice, giving in, taking a beating, submitting, that's him. And she got it when she was this little. Okay. The reason I'm telling you this is because I'm trying to get you to turn on him. Yeah. Have you ever hated anybody? Who? What's his name? Now, how did you act toward him when you hated him? I screamed at him. Threw something once. Okay. Anybody following my logic here? Okay, you you don't hate this thing because you're you're giggling and you didn't giggle with your ex-husband. You let him have it. He was a bad man. This man here is much worse than your husband. He's going to kill you. Next up is a terminal illness. That's what they do. They torture him and then they give him a terminal illness and then they kill him. Happens all the time. Hate them and get rid of them. Ah, thank. All right, let's try this then. Let's fix your tongues, okay? What? Tongues. Tongues? Yes, fix okay. it. Now, the Greek word for tongues is glossa. And it's a language, the same as all other languages. It's uh, made up of syllables, like English. Uh, California is four syllables. Uh, borabasha is four syllables in tongues. One's in tongues, one's in English. When you speak in tongues, do you notice how it kind of dribbles together? You don't notice that? Try it again. Good. It's legit. Their, her tongues is legitimate. They're not demonic. But they're blocked. Okay? It's easy to fix. Okay? Now just pray after me. Bora Shava. Kemosati. Beko Basanda. Do you notice I was speaking in short syllables there? You notice I was using different syllables. Yeah, like, like language. Hello. I was using different syllables in English. Okay. 
Now try that with your language. Only add some different syllables. Kind of slow it down a little. Good! Good girl! Okay, raise your hands. Go ahead. Louder. Fight through the embarrassment. Fight through. Be strong. At a girl. Be strong. There you go. Hey, listen, can you go out in the bookstore when you leave and get one of my cards and have her come in for a counseling appointment so we can get this thing out of there? She's going to be have to kind of take it step by step. Louder, at a girl. Good. Excellent. Hey, listen, uh, take, here's your Bible study for tonight, okay? It's, uh, here's the scriptures for tongues, and you just follow these steps, and it'll start flowing, okay? And then uh, she's going to get a card in the bookstore, so you can come in for a counseling appointment, okay? Yeah, there's no charge. All right, <clears throat> YouTubers. What an interesting night this was. Wish you were here. Wait a minute, you are here. Please go to the website, hardcorechristianity.com, and hit the teaching button. It's at the top of the website. You've got to read these two articles. Number one, how Satan controls the mind. Number two, Satan's counterattack. You're going to get hit within 48 hours of this service. Every time you get demons out, they launch an attack to get back in. You can expect to be attacked. It happens to everybody. You must be ready for it, and you must fight that attack off. You cannot just let it go. Okay? You've got to develop your gift of glossa. You must speak in tongues. Go to the teaching button. Read the article on glossa, the supernatural advantages of your prayer language. I'm not talking about the gift of tongues where you give a message in tongues in church. That's a different gift. Everybody can have their prayer language. You must develop it, and you must learn to speak and sing in tongues. It will increase your spiritual power, your faith, and your anointing. Please remember the Wednesday night Zoom service. Send me an email, mike at hardcorechristianity.com. I'll send you the link and the password. Please remember our services here Thursday and Friday nights at 7 o'clock Pacific time. They are broadcast on our streaming channels, four of them every week. See you next time.